We've been searching hard for any little bit of signal, really, but we've managed to find some here at Juma Dam. And it's not just all the insects and fish that are moving around on the water, but a beautiful grey heron posed on its little log and not fishing at the moment like we normally see them doing. And I don't really blame this little bird because it is freezing out here today. And I'm sure we've all expressed to you how cold it is, but it is chilly, especially at the edge of a dam. It's not particularly warm. I think it's one of the last areas to sort of heat up for the day. But when it does, it will be lovely around here. And this heron will then start its day by sort of, well, fishing around. Now there's... David, can you see all of the sort of splashes of water around here? If you watch carefully, you'll see some massive ripples. And actually the water sort of splashes out. I don't know if it's fish, particularly here in front of the car. See that, all those ripples. I wonder if they're, if they're ca I can see a couple of terrapin heads. But the way that it's splashing, it just reminds me of a fish coming to the surface and snatching up an insect. First, has um, Jamie found any lions yet? Or is she still searching for them? Still? Ah, oh, okay, that's interesting. Those naughty, pesky lions. Oh, there's a plover having a a bath just next to that heron. Now we're going to be going into of course a pretend ad rake game so I shall do that in a moment but how cool is this? This little birdie just having a bath that's very brave going down in this chilly weather. I don't know if I'd be doing that. I suppose it was like my shower yesterday. <laughs> Probably feels about the same temperature. Hot. Wonderful this is amazing. And it's great when you're sitting at an edge of a dam like this. You don't know what's going to happen next. But we're going to be heading off for a short break. Don't go too far. Who knows? This heron may wake up from its perch and start fishing.